Spaceflight Simulator in 3D has just been announced, being a sequel to SFS, which is Spaceflight Simulator 2. So let's have a look at astronauts, all of the brand new parts that are coming, and stuff that you may have missed. But first, if you do want to know when the trailer and game releases, do subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. Starting off with it all, you will soon be able to build and launch rockets in 3D, in a new separate game. The style and UI is very similar to Spaceflight Simulator 1, with symmetry mode here, what presumably seems to be with the axis since it is 3D, and a rotate button. Looking at the launch pads, we have an entire launch setup with a flame trench, tanks for propellant, and lightning towers. And here we can see actual smoke which is coming from the rocket, as well as a glow being emitted from the engine. Also, looking into the background, we have a very detailed VAB, along with a launch control center just next to it. Having a look in the distance of this screenshot, we can see another launch pad, hopefully giving us the option to launch at different locations. Now, we finally have astronauts, and they will be able to perform spacewalks fully equipped with the jetpack, possibly a first-person view mode, and also ride these actual rovers, as you can see with these seats on the moon, which is just incredible. And here we can see them seated within a capsule with the door open. I'm not too sure if the view into the capsule was only to show the interior or feature that may be in the game. Now, looking at all the parts, it has been said that this new game will have over 120 parts that you can use to build with. First of all, we have more capsules, and this basically appears to be wider than the default one. And to go along with that, we have habitation modules where astronauts can live in space as well as the nice looking cupola that we saw in a previous sneak peek and also SRVs or solid rocket boosters which is incredible and also a ton of new engines that we've seen before but I can now actually say they are for Space Flight Simulator 2 and they look incredible. So the game will be optimized to run on basically anything so there's no need to worry about the graphics not working on your device and Space Flight Simulator 1 is still being worked on with an artist who has spent quite some time on the engine update and this game will be continued to be updated and supported but if you want to see when the trailer releases for Space Flight Simulator 2 then do subscribe so you won't miss it in the meantime give this a watch